Welcome to the 11th day at the Black Knights Film Festival. We have here the first feature competition entry, Wasted Eggs from Japan. Uh, and I'd like to welcome uh, director Ryo Kawasaki, uh, producer Emi Oeyama, and uh, actor Sora Kawai and uh, Mitsue Terasaka. Welcome to the festival. Thank you. Um, I'd like to kick off with a question um, of why did you want to tell this story about um, about the two girls who are considering becoming ovum donors and um, mm -hmm. and it's something uh, something uh, quite new in the Japanese society to talk about it. Like why did you want, why did you want to tell this story? It's about uh, the her story by so herself. She's 32 years old. And uh, as Japanese society says, 30 years old is like ex uh, expiring date. So that she has a fe same feeling as like a Junko that the uh, reached to the 30 years old. So that's why she made it this story. So, so when the first time she saw the, the article about egg donor in the newspapers, and the same time she saw the, uh, the, the people talking about uh, over the internet, and she was uh, really pretty much interesting about this topic and she had the same feeling of the Junko that the story and uh, uh, that the, 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 the people who don't have uh, the, the, the same gene as her itself is that some people don't get married and they don't regret about uh, having get, having marriage but uh, they are regret about not having children so uh, that she was thinking about after five ten years. Right now, she does. She's not able to thinking about to get married, but uh, she's also thinking about the five ten years later. So that's why um, she was um, taking this story, though. Sora and Mitsuo, what what brought you to this uh, film? Like, wh why did you want to take part of part and play those characters? And what was uh, significant there? <laughs> Okay, so she also, Sora, also got offer from a uh, director, probably because of this, her look is look like a little bit boyish and like maybe look like a gay person. So she has experienced that she had the role of the lesbian before as well. So maybe that's why I take this job as well. Yeah. And uh, would you yourself uh, consider becoming an egg donor? And she also interesting about the doing egg donor donation, but uh, uh, it's just uh, she even like she doesn't know where, but the genes passed over. That's kind of like a little bit scary, so she is not gonna do it. She also I heard about the egg donation, uh, the because of this script. But uh, uh, she, because of that, she's young and she's not uh, able to think about them get married or having a children yet. But uh, thinking about the uh, egg donation, maybe some people uh, that makes feel relieved that they don't have to really worry about uh, having children up front. So that's why um, she likes about this the system egg donation. Uh, Ria, I also wanted to ask um, about your direct directing style. Um, the film is very, very subtle, very like poetic, also a bit minimalist. Uh, but but you you do, you do use very fr like very original, very fresh editing, uh, and you make those metaphors with uh, broken eggs falling on the floor. What were what was your inspiration when when you made this film? The, the director Liu uh, herself is also the living herself uh, by herself, and uh, when she buy the the top pack of the egg, one pack of egg, which is like a top, um, she often she not able to use everything, so also herself the the egg. Uh, it's kind of like a wasted because she never the carry the the baby, and so the wasted egg and wasted this egg. So she somehow she got linked. So she wants that when she see the egg force and the broken and not able to use that anymore. So that's that became her link herself. So that's why she made it that scene. And uh, who are your? Um to name, name maybe a few uh, directors who have uh, 
been an inspiration to you uh, or any films? Uh, director Aido is Jujo Itami. In 10, 15 years ago, uh, he passed away. Uh, he's been uh, directed only 10 pieces of the films. It's the first, uh, the few uh, pieces, he was like more art artistic and after uh, the last one is more entertainment. He's more free in the many things about the, the people makes a curious about it. And also uh, the, he uh, hired as a protagonist as uh, his wife. Uh, so it's, he's often um, protagonist is a female and he was talking about the female, the female um, occupation and the many things that the, the people never seen it. So that's why I really admire him. I wanted to thank you, Rio, uh, Mitsuwa, uh, Sora and Emi for this. And I wish you a very beautiful premiere. And I recommend everyone to see this film because it's a, it's a very beautiful film. It, which uh, embodies this very classical and yet beautiful and fresh Japanese filmmaking. Thank you.